Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, Kim. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about that video and seeing everybody wave. Like <laughs> we're excited that y'all are joining us today for this week's edition of Good Morning Entrepreneurs. So I'm Kim White. I am one of the co-hosts. I'm Carrie Zab, and I'm the other co-host. <laughs> We're, we're fun. Can we just say that out loud right out of the gate? This yeah. this show is for fun. It is definitely serious. Being an entrepreneur is not for the faint of heart. But Carrie, I want to he be heavy on the fun as well. Yeah, me too. That's all I come for, Kim. <laughs> That's the only reason Carrie hangs out with us is we're fun. If we stop being fun, Carrie's not going to hang out with us. That's what I just heard. <laughs> Well, and essentially, if you just notice that I, I'm no longer present, you know what happened. <laughs> I'm glad to know. I'm glad to know ahead of time, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always give you the heads up, Kim. <laughs> well, Carrie, I want to like head into something pretty serious right out of the gate into entrepreneur land. You know, we all are here to share some behind the scenes and we believe in not being that perfect masked facade of what business looks like. We believe in sharing some of that messy because that encourages other entrepreneurs to know that humans are involved in business. Did you want me to say something to that, Kim? Kind of <laughs> like that. Kind of exactly <laughs> like that. That's, that's the human thing. When we're doing things together, we have to like read each other and sometimes my reading is off. <laughs> Actually, I think my reading was off, Kim, because I'm like, oh, there's silence. I better pipe in. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to talk about today, and this is kind of maybe will sound a little weird when you first hear it, but we want to talk about you being your own asset bank. Carrie, I think we should kick everybody's assets. Assets? Gotcha. Assets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, when you're thinking about all the socials, this is just like a, a heads up for entrepreneur land today. When you're thinking about your socials, sometimes people get so invested in them and so attached and then something happens and the platform changes or sometimes you get thrown in, you know, platform jail, we'll call it. So what do you do when you own a business and you're using your socials for your business? And this is where the asset bank comes in. This is where I believe a little different. And Carrie, I want you to weigh in too on this because we have a little bit different way of thinking about this. If you're a business owner and you're using socials, it's like having many commercials. You know, don't get tied to that. They're going to live forever there because they may not. But what can you do just like, and I'm going to, I'm going to just, like compare it to a Super Bowl commercial. What can you do to put those Super Bowl commercials out there on your socials so that you can attract people to you as a human and to your business, what your business solves the problem for? Well, Kim, I've got a little bit of an idea to share. Ooh. One of the things that I practice in particular is keeping all of those assets. So everything that we create, that we share on social media, like you said before, Kim, those platforms can change. Sometimes mm -hmm. that wonderful creation that we put out there may get removed for whatever reason. So therefore, we need to keep it ourselves as well because we don't want to lose all that hard work. So we need to have that asset bank on our side so that we're not just relying on those platforms to hold that content for us. And we've got it to use in other places or in our own places. Oh my goodness, Carrie. Brilliant, brilliant advice. Because here's the thing, you can also pull clips from them. You can, um, you know, and we want to be really transparent about our roving reporters segments. They're actually clips from things. So we've pulled clips out or at least um, Adam and Jill have, we should say that, <laughs> <laughs> where we're highlighting something. And you can do that with your assets for all your socials. 
because you can get someone who is interested in doing something with you. And Carrie, I'm going to use us as an example, you and I. We are we are serious about business. We are serious about running our businesses, being responsible, being grown up about it. But we are 100% fun at the same time. We think there's a way to do things that are not so heavy. We think there's a way to do things that are fun that involve business. So we we kind of are not everybody's flavor for that. Some people want to keep it very stoic. We're not we're not that Carrie. I know I know you didn't know that, but we're not that Carrie. <laughs> I think we couldn't be further from it, Kim, even if we tried. <laughs> but I think whenever you know your flavor and you have people who also want to have fun, because that's who we attract, is fun entrepreneurs. You know, we've been overwhelmed. Let us just raise our hand right out of the gate. We have been overwhelmed. We have felt like we were alone on this journey. We have all of those feels but the awesome part about where we are now in life is that we're on this business adventure together and we don't have to do it alone. So keeping those assets where you can use them to attract your right people is just a really important part. We just thought we'd come out of the gate strong today, Carrie. I just turned up for the fun, Kim. You know, I'm here for the fun. You went all serious, <laughs> but I'll go with it. I'll, I'll you know. I'll play with that too, but I'm still here for the fun, Kim. <laughs> well, Carrie, I know we are like tracking a little early. I'm just going to say this. I'm going to start carving out a little bit of time on this agenda because we have a little bit of a surprise at the end. Anyone who hangs out with us knows that to be ready for whatever, because that's part of the fun of who we are, we're not afraid to add people to the mix or call people out to to come and play with us. So I'm just giving everybody a heads up to be camera ready and be like ready to play this morning. 